Welcome back to the Sports Show. Well, it is a big show. We've big show. Uh, increased the bench to five, so uh, it is impressive. Now, obviously, we, we know you two hooligans. <laughs> Southern Footy League, Craig Warman, the president, joins us. Uh, Tony Kernahan, of course, the president of the Cove Footy Club. It's been an interesting couple of weeks for the Cove Footy Club, mate. The Marion Council and yourself have had some interesting discussions on you might be at the Oval, you might not be at the Oval. Yeah, it's um, that, that saying a couple of weeks in footy, the, the roller coaster, I think we were last on here announcing... Crabby. Probably Crabby. Yep. As, as our coach. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and that's Sorry, was that at the top of the roller coaster or at the bottom with Crabby? That was the very top. At the lot, top. Okay. Lot better than the club you're dealing with at the moment, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're moving forward with that. But, um, <laughs> there's a jab. Yeah, and then unfortunately, yeah, um, there's been a case where the City of Marion Council have made a decision which affects the Cove Football Club uh, playing at the Cove Oval, our home ground. Um, but there's a process in place there. And we, and we respect that yeah. and we're asking all our members to respect that so after a pretty heavy meeting this morning uh, with the Marion Council uh, with the SFL, SANFL and board in there as well we're a lot more comfortable that there's a process being worked on to allow the two parties to come to some form of agreement um, and working through that process to get the Co Football Club back there Can I ask a question here? You, did you have any warning that this was coming? Uh, when, I, when I say warning, were you in talks with the Marion Council about some behaviour uh, issues or anything like that before this letter lobbed on your desk? Um, there were some discussions um, with a letter that was handed to the Co Football Club on the 3rd of September with a number of allegations uh, okay. that were levelled at the club. We had 14 days to respond to that letter. Um, we responded to that letter respectfully, asking for more information in regards to the allegations mm. that were being levelled at us. Mm. And also, uh, that was done by the 17th. We were also invited to the Marion Council where I was deputised and be able to present to the councillors of our side of that story. Um, and then the councillors uh, were permitted to ask me certain questions. Um, we were brought into the council the very next day at 10.30 and were handed a letter uh, giving us 30 days notice mm -hmm. to leave the mm -hmm. club. Mm -hmm. Craig, on, a, on more of a brighter notice, um, last Friday night when, when the uh, club needed support and they, they rallied their members and, and players, and of course, you know, the, the Southern Football League uh, are a big part of that as well, of uh, that sort of organising, uh, uh, I think it was, it was at the South Adelaide Footy yes. Club. That was just unbelievable. There was well over a thousand people there uh, in rally, I mean, uh, you would have heard some unbelievable uh, letters from, from young children, basically in tears, saying, this is my home, I don't want to go anywhere else. Um, you, know, you know, right up to, you know, uh, past champions that uh, spoke very passionately about the club and their, their wonderful time over many, many years. Um, and then also we're hearing now that, you know, you've got the Morpah Vales, you've got the Norlungas and the Port Norlungas opening up their club rooms to, just to, uh, to get you know, more uh, signatures uh, to build the case even greater. So from, you know, for the Southern Fleet you must be just so proud. It's, it's a fantastic uh, thing that um, we saw a Friday night. Mm. Um, as you blokes know, we're, we're pretty passionate people down there in the South mm. uh, when it comes to our footy. And... Uh, for all of our clubs to uh, to come along and support mm. um, the Co Football Club in at this particular time, as I mentioned before, we are a family down there. One mm. one hurts, we all hurt, yeah. and that was never more evident than uh, than Friday night. And when you get a young lad of ten years old getting up, reading out a letter mm. that he's penned to the mayor um, of the Marion Council. Uh, and him to get a standing ovation from the thousand people that were there, mm, yeah. it's just heart wrenching. The uh, you know the response that, that's coming, it's it's fantastic uh, support for the Co Football yeah, Club. Brilliant. This is all well. Uh, this is a shared complex, isn't it? The, the, yes. The, the Co. We've got what uh, soccer, netball. Uh, There's what six we got? affiliated clubs there. Area. So we've got BMX, soccer, two netball clubs, cricket and football. Okay, but what sort of support are we getting there? What sort of, uh, from the other, I mean, is this just a football problem is what I'm saying. Is this just a footy club issue? Has it got nothing to do with any other group that is there or what? Look, Barry, I, I don't want to say that it's just aimed at the football club. We've had massive support from the BMX club, the cricket club, um, I know that the other clubs are there and they can't say anything at the moment, which is, which mm. is sad. Mm. Yep. But 
Our focus is not around that. Our focus is about making sure that this is a fantastic decision to get us back there for the whole of the Hallett Cove community, uh, the families and the kids, and we're happy to work with all the affiliated clubs um, mm. to get through there. It is a tough situation. It's a sports community club that has simply been outgrown by all its members, mm. and there are teething problems mm. in that, and we're probably feeling that, that situation now. Hey, Tony, have you been surprised by the amount of support? I mean, the Southern Footy League, we've talked about a 1,000 people, lots of people reaching out and, and signing documents. Has it surprised you, the volume of people that have oh, reached out? I think um, sometimes when we get into a dark space, mm. you tend to narrow things down. You think, how do I get through this? But I've never been so much more prouder of the Co Football Club, which I call my family, um, what they've displayed and how they've conducted themselves right through this process has been unbelievable. All the other clubs, the nine SFL clubs, have all made contact with me. Mm. They've all given their support. They've all rallied around and started doing petitions for us. But we know there's a broader group in the community have also made contact and they want to show their support. It is blown us away as a club. What has been fan fantastic, and I mean, Barry took it quite a bit uh, over the last, especially the last few weeks, is uh, you know the women's uh, teams, mm -hmm. uh, especially the the A grade that uh, I think now back to back Correct. premiers. Yeah. Uh, uh, the captain spoke so passionately uh, mm. last Friday night, mm. uh, where it's actually I was watching the table they were at. There was probably three or four uh, young ladies, uh, you, know, you know, openly crying uh, when she was reading her uh, her letter to uh, what she wants to send to the mayor and council. It, it's a, I mean, right now, you know, uh, Hallett Cove support a huge number of young girls and uh, and women in a in a fantastic, you know. Uh, family, yeah. community environment mm. yeah. that they're succeeding in, not just enjoying uh, mm. having a kick in the catch. Are they winning premierships? Yes, mm. Um, mm. And, and you're absolutely right, Anna. There's, there's a growing passion within the Hallett Cove community that uh, we have an under-14s girl which had their first year this mm. year and did quite well. There's now uh, growth plans for an under-16s girl sitting there, plus the Opens Women's who quite frankly, probably have numbers now to fill two sides. Mm. So it's, we got to fight for them, their passion, mm. their future and what we're trying to do. We got to fight for the whole club. Have we got an issue here. Uh, Craig, I'll, I'll ask you this, mate. Have you had any reports of uh, issue problems with the Cove Footy Club uh, uh, that you've had to go down and talk to Tony about or talk to Cove about? Uh, we've had a couple of instances, mm. uh, but they were, over 12 months ago. Okay. So um, at the end of the day, since Tony's taken over as president, we've had one yeah. that's be, been of real significance. And on average with other clubs? You, oh, it, look, at, it, the, at, at the end normal? of the day, I, I fully support Tony Tony Kernahan here mm. and, and the mm. Co Football Club. They ha run a really good ship, and as far as I'm concerned, I, I think it can be summed up when, when I get a phone call uh, the very next morning after this notice was served on us by a, a grandmother who's in tears because her three grandsons who play at the Cove Football Club now don't have a home. Mm. And she wanted to know what she could do to support the Cove Football Club. And I said, look, there's going to be a meeting call. And she turned up at the meeting on Friday night. I love it. Yeah. And she took a, a swag of petition notices and her and all of her lady friends in the Hallett Cove area were going to go door knocking all weekend. That's fantastic. And people were going in shopping centres. Yep. So were... to me, mm. that shows that, let's, let's, let's get realistic here, that shows that, all right, yes, there might have been a problem, but it's well and truly passed. This gentleman was doing all he can, as, as well as his executive, mm. and I take my hat off to them as well, because they, these are testing times. They are really testing times for these people. And to get the support that they're getting, I think it's fantastic. Mm. Hey, Tony, we wish you all the best, mate. Hopefully we get you next week and have a chat and you can say it's all been resolved. Oh, it's all great nice. news. Traditionally, councils <laughs> don't move that quickly, mate. But it, it's just interesting that how many people have galvanised around the Cove footy club. Mm. I mean, obviously, you've got your own supporting staff, but the, the, the wider footy community and, and the stories that you're telling, you go, it's pretty emotive, it's isn't it? It's amazing. You know, so, yeah. mate, we wish you every success with it. Good luck, mate. Always a pleasure catching up with you, great man from uh, the Southern Footy League, the President. Stay with us. A bit more to come on the show.